Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I'm going to attempt to do one more episode before my eyes just totally give out. I'm like, <laughs> that's why part of the reason I think maybe I don't want to do webcam too much is because then you can't, you can't see me doing stupid faces, you know? <laughs> okay, what do we want to do? I was thinking about doing uh, Bellara, Bellara because, you know, she's a companion. But I think I might run into the shadows of Menrathis because I want to do something exciting before I go to bed that potentially opens up more companions. It is in Treviso. Interesting. Okay, that. Sorry, I marked the um. The champion or whatever. Oh, powerful entities roaming the mortal world. If only I could read. Track down three sources of crime. Wow. Oh, one is right here. below me I mean there's this but I don't think I can get into that many yet your case is traced back to the venatori too many if you're hoping the cult's not a problem not enough if you want to blame them for every hurt the city suffers Ooh. of course if you want a less complicated answer you won't find it in Minrathus or anywhere else that is a good point. I mean, you know, right? It's like you can't blame it all on the Venatori. Sometimes people are just bad, you know? Ah, oh, I still- I can't get in? Or... hmm. So... I apparently can't do this one right now? Another merchant. What does spirit spend money on? Never mind. What do you have? <laughs> Whatever this quest is, I can't access it to open up the areas. Okay, we'll do Bellara's. I keep going back and forth, so hopefully I edit some of that out, but I just... I feel like it's probably a good idea to do what I've got before I progress those main story mission. It always freaks me out if I don't do it like that. So... We will fast travel to... Probably then. Please let me travel. Okay. Hmm. And we'll get to walk past Morrigan, who does nothing and offers nothing. Which is frustrating. She also could have a godchild, or just like a child at this point, and like, that's- we're just- just not gonna- we need to get some of this rubble cleared up. Acknowledge any of that. The whole village. Covered in blight, I heard. Who's this Morgan? From Ireland's journal, who's this Morgan? Strife brought in a mage named Morgan. They have some kind of history. I don't care much for her. This is our forest. We've been defending it, and now she wanders in like she rules Arlathan. After I wrote that, I asked around about her. Morgan may be uppity, but I guess anyone with her family would be. They say her mother was Flemeth, a legendary witch of the wilds that we still tell tales about. She has a bunch of witch daughters all over the place. Oh, is that canon now that she actually has witch daughters, and it's not just in the like in the uh, extra like comic material? Some say Flemeth was immortal, so I don't know what makes more what that makes Morgan scary, I guess. They say Morgan's an incredibly dangerous mage, that she's into blood magic, she's a shapeshifter, she can turn into a dragon. She was advisor to the Inquisition, and she's had more lovers than trees in the forest. She wanders the world being mysterious, popping up whenever it suits her fancy. I don't know what's truth or not, but I'm watching my back around her. Honestly, sounds like a great life, right? You do you can shapeshift, you can do all kinds of strange magics, and you just live your life unapologetically, you know what I mean? Oh, the classic Morgan tarot card. Cool. What could do such a thing? What? I hear it's Elgonon and Gillenane. What could oh, do Elgonon. such a thing? It is true. The gods work to protect elements of the worst kind of blood magic. And what do you know about blood magic, witch of the wilds? 
Enough to be wary of it. It is addictive and dangerous when wielded by mortals, and likely leads to disaster when wielded by gods. So you say. I mean, what? I, that, that makes sense to me. Darren, I really should have listened to Malia that she leave the depths of the forest earlier. I knew something was wrong. My magic felt different. The air felt charged. Even the wind rustling through the leaves sounded like a warning. She told me to go ahead, to wait by the river. I was there with the others when we started seeing lights in the sky. Her Aravel never made it out. I'm so sorry. Okay, so, oh, uh, let me bring Balara. Because I want to I wanna get the, um, the, like, Dalish things as we go. Um, <laughs> that's my, uh, yeah, I want to get the Dalish, the Dalish clan figured out as we go, but, um, your armor looks cool, um, but we're heading out to do Belaris also. I just figure we'll find it along the way. An underwater prison? That's still... Pretty amazing. Amazing? Uh, I suppose it is. Do you think the elves made it? It didn't seem to winter. I think so. I wonder what it was built for originally. I mean. Whatever it was meant for, it's a bit of misery now. Oh, is it time again? Great. It's a bit of misery now. It was interesting that he was able to consider, potentially what it was. A Fade Stalker. Okay. An underwater prison? That's Oh, we're just gonna amazing. start it over? Amazing. Whatever it was meant for, it's a bit of misery now. Right. Oh, they weren't quite done. Interesting. Definitely more and more. I knew. I knew it would kind of be the, what that does? the areas unlocked. It's ancient Elven. I know that much. Probably tapping into the Fade and drawing from it. Whatever it is, mm. it wasn't here before. Things like this now pop up out of nowhere. These. Well, someone was reaching to try to grab somebody, but this is different. Different hands than what we're used to seeing. They're different from the like Aspen Tree people. Ooh. Laura, you're up. Oh, go up here and then close it again. Oops. Oh, like a a portal? Okay. Interesting. Uh, thanks, I guess. Maybe they were trying to get out with the portal magic, but... Oh, a whole other area. And there are... Treasures nearby. Who are? A mercenary? What's a mercenary doing here? I am having really bad frames right now. Oh, well, this is something. Goo! Wolf! Watch your head. Oh. There they are. Well, there's more of you. A broken alluvian over there. No fixing that. A broken alluvian? Oh. But there's a blessing of the gods here. I'm not really sure what the point of breaking this stuff is. Like, in like, the grand scheme, you know? Like, why do you need me to break some things? Ah! 
It is nice to get the health increases, but... Alright, something... My frames are really bad, and I'm probably gonna... Ooh. Oh. Probably gonna have to do something about the frames, but this is definitely it. Ripped page. The mirror shows no reflection, only a dark fog. Perhaps magic will reveal more. The others urge me to try. The shadowy things wear the faces of my kin. Blank eyes staring. They don't speak. They don't even know their names. I did this. I let the mirror corrupt them. I'm to blame. He couldn't stop it from corrupting everything around it. Including himself. Oh. I don't like this, Alluvian. It's wrong. If it wasn't already smashed, I'd do it myself. Somebody, yeah, somebody did break it. This reminds me of the Meryl um, situation in Dragon Age 2, which tries to fix an Alluvian that took one or two of her clan members. Um, and it, but it was, it goes to like the deep roads, I'm pretty sure, or something. It's where, the place where everybody's corrupted. Um, or where everything's corrupted and there's only dark spawn that come out. You know? Oh, just chilling down here? Oh, hi. Did it just like self destruct? That was wild. Just like self destructed. I keep forgetting that this isn't the, um,. Fade sometimes, honestly. I found something. Oh, yikes. These were veil jumpers? They still have their flesh. Neatly folded note. The storm was coming and we were desperate. It was just a cave, small but comfortable. We all fell asleep around the fire. When we awoke, the entrance was gone. Perhaps it is a trick of the darkness, but the rock seems to move with each breath, closing in with each inhale. I am sick with dread. If anyone finds this, get out. Get out while you can. Ariana, I love you. Remember me. They came in for shelter and couldn't get out. The spirit probably what? felt their fear, too. That <laughs> actually gave me the heebie-jeebies. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I was afraid, oh, if I turned around that, uh, that the entrance would be gone. I am no spelunker. I think those people are crazy. I'd rather jump out of a plane than, than go spelunking, honestly. What just, what's falling? Who's falling? Why? Oh, did I kill it? Oh, I was like, oh, I can swim for a second. I cannot. I was like, did I... Just, uh... Excuse you. I think I defeated that guy. I forgot. If you yeet them into the... Why are we having... Why are we upset -y? Why are we freezing? Why, why, why? <laughs> so many wonderings. Oh, I saw another one of these around the other corner, I think. Another... Derthamon. Quick correction. I am in the Airbnb right now, so I have to be quiet. Uh, this isn't really a spoiler, because if I had just remembered my stories right, I would have gotten this information correct way earlier. Uh, but I just... It, like I'm on episode, like I don't know, 60-something in the recordings. And... I finally looked it up properly, and the owl statue actually belongs to Andrewell. Uh, Dirthamin has ravens, Andrewell has owls. Uh, this does make more sense overall in the grand scheme of things, as we'll see later. But I just wanted to correct myself here. This is not Ed Dirthamin, the Keeper of Secrets statue. This is Andrewell, Goddess of the Hunt statue. Yikes. Uh, they burned. This is it's the one. Completely burned. That must have been a big fire. And this scorched relic. Is this what started the blaze? I bet that spirit was sensing their last moments. Yeah. Ooh, 
These are burnt butterflies. So it's Arlathan kind of has fade-ish places because it's there's so much magic imbued into the area. These are burnt butterflies. I think that's a really neat touch. Oh no. Is there treasure up above me? Because I'm standing right on a chest, apparently. guys like unfriendly oh unfriendly uh oh I do want to change back I got this necromancy like AOE ability but it's like really really small as far as I can tell not very worth it in my opinion I did not realize this was here. Um, I think I, because the Dirthman temple is all lit up, I'm going to assume that I don't need to activate any more of them. That they just are. I'll get up there eventually. Like they're like they're like already activated, but it's like if you hadn't activated it in one area, you can find it in a different one. Let's see if we can't get Balara's mission though. No. I've gotten distracted. Another statue. There's an elf out there somewhere who really likes owls. You're a Dalish. Well, you're an Elven. We maybe I guess we could say she's not truly Dalish, but in my head canon, she went on like a pilgrimage to live with the Dalish for a while. But like, you should note that that's a Let's see if we can figure this out. Ooh. Are you gonna do something? My, they're behind us too. Oh, there's something for Lucanus over there, but what's over here? Are you a thing I need? Can I have you? Oh, we're all balancing precariously. Well, so I have to do something this way. Not a problem. I was thinking I was gonna like. Oh. Woof. How do I get up there? You know, to control whatever this beam what is. Yeah. Let me up. Maybe we just don't have, maybe I don't have the, the skill yet. Yeah, I don't know. I must not have whatever I need yet. Oh, you're a fancy one. Oh my, a blade white. Oh, that's one of the guardians. They aren't statues. Those were people. You mean what happened to them? It's like they were frozen mid-stride. Wait, 
You mean the people we've been passing for eons now? That you are apparently just now choosing to recognize? Blood splattered journal. I dreamed the earth reached out to embrace me. The others say they had the same dream. The keeper cannot stop the change. I can no longer move or feel my feet. She has given me prayers to say magic to weave. None of it helps. They are trees. They would have felt themselves being transformed by magic and could not escape. We saw another one of these corpses earlier. It must be happening all over. And the spirit must have sensed it. Oh my gosh, so somebody got turned into a tree here. Like, this is a modern thing that's happening? I was thinking this is left over from Elvenon. Why are so many people out here? Like, I was thinking this was Elvenon stuff, but apparently this is just people now being turned into trees because that's fresh blood and so somebody kind of got splattered before they turned fully into a tree is that what's going on i may have misunderstood a little bit i don't like that it doesn't show like oh yeah this is currently a lot like on the map you know i wish it would show Cause I'm like, oh, I can walk right through, and I can't. You know what I mean? So I wish it would. I wish it would let me know. Oh, well, here's a ladder, apparently. Okay, so you lock the gate, but leave a ladder? Interesting. Another one of those owl statues. coffin? Are these coffins? <gasps> These are like uh, potentially the Uthanera coffins. Okay, finally, we can do something with it. Look at that. Did that body just appear too? Because that's horrifying. Uthanera, the, the, the thing that would happen when they would like go into like their eternal sleep voluntarily and just wander the fade. Oh, this is beautiful. Uthanera is like, I think, I think I've said it periodically, but I'm not 100% sure that I've gotten my full thought out. But yeah, it was when the elf, like an elf felt they had lived for long enough because they were immortal and they never, di they never died. Um, and eventually some of them would become tired to, like, you know, be like, I'm ready for a different phase of existence. And they would, Uthanera, which is like, was like a permanent sleep. They weren't dead, but they would travel the Fade as a spirit after that, forever. And I bet you a clear lidded coffin like that is for something like that. Because people would, like, it was like a whole thing. It was almost like a funeral, right? Where everybody would gather and, like, send them out. Not a funeral, it was more like a send-off, you know? Um, so yeah, that would not surprise me if that was about that. Hazards tomorrow, a predictive map, which is perhaps counter to the concept of physical mapping, but central to veil jumper survival. Know where you don't know the danger is. Interesting. There's so much going on. There's so much more here than I thought. And another quest out there. Oh my goodness gracious, how big is this actually? Okay, see here, I was thinking that the world was a bit linear. But that's just kind of been the quest so far, I think, like the main quest and like the companion quest. Where it's like, yeah, here you go, here it is. And I'm like, oh, okay, but this makes me feel a lot better that we actually get to explore a bit more. Hopefully with Bellara's quest, we can maybe figure out the tree people thing. Like, how old is it? You know, is this ancient magic? Because I was thinking it was like Fade Spirit stuff, but... This is kind of wild. Like, you would expect these rocks to fall maybe a little bit. So it's kind of cool that they're actually doing it. The Hala are dead! Oh, this was the one about the person who said we can't lose the Hala. I don't know what it is, but my frame rates are really bad. And it's actually kind of hard to see, so... What's this? Wow, they got crushed. Oh, maybe don't walk under the rocks, you know? A hollow statuette. They died holding this. 
And all these Hala corpses. Didn't that spirit say something about Hala? Gilanane was revered as mother of the Hala. The Hala is her symbol, or was, anyway. These people were tracking Hala and got lost. Then, well... Crushed by falling rocks. So many dead. So many things left behind. I wonder if we could somehow memorialize them. Oh, look at Let's that. Let's head back to that spirit. Maybe we can ease its distress somehow. A memorial will be sick, and oozing, oozing, easing the distress of the spirit is good. But do you see that? It's like a great fairy from Breath of the Wild coming out of the, like, plant. It's like a plant person, you know? Um... What are we doing? I think I am going to go ahead and call it here, even though this one will probably be kind of short, just picking this up. I kind of, well... Ooh, maybe not. I was like, I did this one so that we would land here. Like, I did this one last so that we would land right next to Ballara's quest. But I don't want to start it. I think we'll probably just go finish... We'll go finish this spirit one. And we'll come back for Ballara's. Why do all the hollow look so sickly? Oh no. I can't lose the Hala. We need I found those people. You don't have to feel this way anymore. I have so much fear before the darkness. Make it quiet. Make it go away. I don't understand. I think we need to soothe the spirit somehow. Maybe some kind of a reverent gesture? A memorial. She wants a memorial. Oh, up there. Okay. Well, luckily I can get in there now. Ah, okay. Oh, this looks like the altar in Dragon Age 2. You uh, fulfill your promise as Hawk. To Mythos, Flemeth to Flemeth, and bring her medallion amulet thing to the Dalish clan outside of Kirkwall. <laughs> Here goes. All the things we picked up. You were fighters, scholars, explorers, friends, family, and lovers. We will remember you as you lived and not as you died. Go in peace. Rest well. A moment's pain does not undo a lifetime of hope. It's true. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but that actually makes me want to cry. Why are we acting like we're falling over? Oh my gosh, that kind of makes me want to cry. So that means it's time for bed. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was really beautiful. Like, we, I think that helped the spirit, right, to not remember entities as they died, which is, would be a terrible thing to have to remember forever, but as they lived, you know? So, that is really nice. I like that a lot. It's, a, like, a tiny little thing that doesn't, I think, have a greater meaning to the area, but that was, like, a meaningful little one, and I liked it, so... I'm glad we were able to do that. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to go to bed because my eyes, I cannot keep my eyes open and I keep playing late. So it's like, bleh. Real quick interjection from the Airbnb, which is why I'm so quiet. It's also really early in the morning. But as you can see, this was not an ending of the video. There's still a whole lot more to go. Turns out the first part was very short and not a whole lot happened. And so I decided to combine it with the next one, which includes Balar's mission. So hopefully I will have timestamps up reflecting all of this. And hopefully I edited okay, because it was really late last night, for me anyway. <laughs> it was past nine and I was so tired. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys for putting up with this. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. But obviously no face paint today and potentially no webcam if I don't like the way I look on the camera. So... If it's here, congrats. <laughs> I don't know. But I think we need to do... I'm not a huge fan of how it apparently, like, when you save in an area, it doesn't put you back where you, um... Have I gotten the Fenhurl altar? What? 
It doesn't put you back where you were exactly. It puts you back near where the nearest, like, fast travel point is. Did I... I mean, I thought we went... I turned around and I gave it... Gave the stuff back. We did the memorial for the spirits. So it's also bad because I'm like... I was like... I'm like half asleep. So by the end of the night, I'm like... What did I do? You know? I don't have flaming weapons, though. Like, I, I'm not I'm not even working towards a build that does that, you know? A Magister's Bargain. Quickened. I don't even think I've gotten that much. Like, quickened. Sure. I should try... I haven't gotten any good, really, like, one-handed weapons. Like, one, like, like, green whatever ones. So, it's in the warrior core is a, is downfall, apparently. There it is! Okay, okay, so, like, so it is actually a good idea to get these core abilities. I was, like, trying to look up a guide to be- I don't generally like to look up guides. I like to figure stuff out on my own, and if I mess up, I can respec, obviously. Um, you know, I might actually respec simply because I don't like this ability. Um, it's not as- at least I'm- at least I don't think. Yeah, I- I prefer more mobile abilities. I like an AoE around me, um, but this, at least from what I could tell, wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Maybe I will just respec. I like these, though, so I'll have to remember that. Or can I just refund? Oh, you can refund the points individually! Okay, I like that a lot, honestly. Okay, okie dokie. That is really cool. You don't have to just like do a total reset and like forget everything. Okay. So right now you gain precision after a successful perfect defense, which is I think you get like a guaranteed critical hit. Yeah. Next charge or final attack on an enemy will be critical. Or you get. Oh no, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shield volley. Okay, I need to get these core abilities, I think. I think I was looking at them as like trees, like branching out. Like, okay, focus only on the areas I'm going. It looks like it's a good idea to get all these core abilities and then go from there. Sorry, I went on a brief tangent to redo some settings and look up some optimal settings because I don't know if it's just me late at night or like if the game's been running too long or if my eyes are going wonky but um especially the longer I play the more like it seems like my frames are like like disappearing and I'm getting down to like you know 30 frames per second which is less than ideal and it got it actually a couple times last night it seemed like it was causing me some issues on like timing uh, like really late at night, but again, that might be because be because be because my eyes were like, ah. but I felt like it felt like the screen wasn't helping, you know. So I was like, okay, so I've been I've messed with my settings. Yeah, hopefully we'll see. Um, okay, I had noticed there's like these 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 armor masteries, medium armor master, which I hadn't even realized was really like that we were doing medium or heavy armor. Really, I hadn't even noticed. But like, if you're wearing a medium helm and armor, you get these. And there's a heavy one over here. Less likely to be disrupted when getting hit. Uh, but I noticed this one over here is an eclectic armor. It gives you a shield toss bounce of plus two. So I was like, hmm. So I think I'm going to take this one away for now. And give myself, well, work my way up that way. So I'm going to give myself this and then grab this because I think I'm going to be more of an eclectic armor person. Although I guess I, I like to have matching sets sometimes. So, But we'll see. We'll see. If nothing else, you can have the appearance be different, right? And I can just have the the eclectic armor on underneath, which is fine. So, yeah. I'll just do that. I tend to like that anyway. And that gets me closer towards this one, which does look interesting. Just kidding. I apparently forgot to get this final basic one so I took away that one and I got this final basic one which gives you 
use your speed. I've been jumping. I've been running and jumping, which is what I'm glad for this for. I like to run in and, and jump and, and do the attack. But it's like BB, then XY. Like you dash in super fast and then X or Y. Okay. Which I do also do, so it'll be nice to get these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see. I like figuring it out on my own. I like doing that. But I just, I was like, where is it? So I was trying to look up, like, I'm like, the run and jump ability. And then it was like, warrior guide. And I was like, okay, I guess. And then it was right there at the top, near the top, like, near the top. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy that that's happened. And then it's like, oh, it's just, it's a core ability. That's why. <laughs> so. Cool stuff. This is very cool. I'm very excited. All right. Apparently there's a Fenharal statue is it, is it, I mean, is it this one, or, no, it looks like it's down. It's over here. I'm, I'm standing, like, right on it. It's below me somewhere. And we came in through that way. I'll probably have to watch this video back. It would probably help if I was wearing my glasses. See, I'm, I'm feeling like there's, like, slight, like, stuttering just a little bit. We might be able to restore that bridge. It would make a good shortcut through this area. Oh, we came here though with parting. Ah, oh, I was trying to do like way off the ropes and it would not let me. Look at this. I bet it came in handy. We have to hand it to the ancient elves. They love their statues. Oh my god. Such craftsmanship. Handmade from stone. People have been killed for <laughs> us. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I did love that. That was really cheesy. <laughs> okay, that part was really funny. The rest of it, I was like, please, no. Oh. Convenient. There's a like I'm like oh I've been in this area but apparently not all through it you know there's I just I'm trying to get to whatever the Fen Harrell statue is uh which was down oh god we're on our way to whatever this is I just can't there's a shortcut <laughs> what I just wanted to get like in here oh maybe if we okay hang on. There is a fast travel point up here, so I will grab that. Never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Move it. And um, I guess we can grab. You don't have to answer this if you don't want to, Lucanus, but how did the Venatori stick you with Spike? Please. They fed me something. Like he was a parasite in uncooked meat. Nah. -uh. You know. I've spent lots of time around demons, but I've never heard of them being used that way. Zara said she got the idea from some cult in Orlais. They used it on seekers who are immune to demons. I mean, is she talking about the Venatori cult in Southern Thetis? Like the, the other branch of the Venatori? Because that's who was doing stuff. And that did, we did that with Cassandra. I don't remember them feeding them anything, though. But yeah, because the, the Seekers were immune to demons because they were t technically already possessed. Let's see if we can figure this out. had that issue with normal people. I mean, I guess it's like, oh, I just got the idea from it. Where it's like, I can't quite remember, but they were trying to like, override the the possession, essentially, of the Seekers. Well, I, what do you, could I like, flip that? Because there's a there's a beacony thing. Oh, 
Um, but this needs to be activated somehow. Okay, 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 okay. Me. Okay. You guys better get off the bridge fast. I know. No, no, no. This is fine. Um, I will take the route we just opened up for it. Don't mind me. The music sounds so sad, and it definitely is, like, reminiscent of, like, uh, the two songs, the dark, dark, what was it? Oh my gosh. Sad Elf and like Dark Solace or something. Those are the two songs I listened to in the Trespasser DLC like over and over and over again. Uh, just to make myself feel something, you know? Lost Elf and Dark Solace. Those two songs, if you want to cry, if I want to cry, that's what I listen to. <laughs> But there's a few moments. Oh, nice. An effect unlocked. Oh. Cool, sure. That was her normal gear. Um, but just like the viol- it's the violins, you know, I just- they're just- they're so tragic. And anyway, you hear about the violin occasionally in here where it's like- just like a like a strain, like a sad strain. Ooh, I'm going to throw myself off. Ooh, yeah. Frames are bad. Frames are bad. We're gonna fix that. Okay. The jump attack while they're down. Very good. Very good. Very very fan. Very fan of that. Okay. What now? keep getting distracted I'm like here's what I'm gonna do and then I go in the opposite direction like it's it's a problem ADHD problems stairs up and stairs down okay I so it's stairs not a ladder because there's like there's like a there's like an up button over here and I'm like I don't know what that means does it mean I need to go up like what are you, what are you trying to say Oh, okay. See, I was like, I was like, why would they have explosive stuff here? I thought we were gonna blow up that, but apparently we're just. Also, again, I why 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 is this the method of getting around? Why are we blowing up ancient elven ruins? Why could we not move past that? I uh, like I expect it from other games. I don't necessarily expect it from Bioware, who are like a little bit more socially conscious than others. You know, like please, like can we not get? Man, I'm hoping to play the Indiana Jones game that's coming out, which I just found out about. That's coming out in December, and I was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, these are faces. These are like uh, burial urns from Inquisition. Very nice. Um, anyway, uh, I just learned about it recently, and I was like, Oh shoot, I gotta get as much Velgar done as possible so that I can play. Uh, it'd be fun to play the Indiana Jones game that's coming out. And uh, I'm not gonna go all the way into it, but it looks really fun, and it looks a little more aware of what it is, and less. There's so I think there's probably still gonna be looting. There is a point where he like breaks a wall, and I was like, that has hieroglyphs on it, and I was like, Ugh, just to get to like something behind it, and I was like, why would you do that? But like for the most part, they're also utilizing a um, a camera, which any game that has archaeology, um, in my mind. Oh dang. Okay, I was hoping it would go up further. 
um, should utilize a photo. A photo. Hang on, getting into it. This is my thing. Is that I think any game with archaeology into it, in it should have a, a camera of some sort. That it, so instead of looting, you just take a photo of it and you leave it right where it's at. People, that's great. Take photos of stuff, leave it right where it's at. You know what I mean? Pick it up. Sometimes maybe depending on the thing, and look at it, take a picture of it, and then leave it there. You know what I mean? Um, but it's, it looks really cool because there's gonna be like clues and like a, like a journal that keeps track of all kinds of things and. It looks neat, and I'm um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and I think I will try to play it on the channel, but we'll see. We'll see. I can't promise too much, but um, it'd be fun to start, like have it where it's like, oh, archaeologist plays Indiana Jones, which honestly, by the time this video goes out, probably I'll already have it or not. <laughs> but it's only like a month away at this point. I think to get where I want to go is locked right now to me. Which you shouldn't let me. I don't know. I shouldn't be able to see stuff in area that's areas that's locked in my mind. Cause I just spent a bunch of time trying to get to it, and now it's not open to me. I'm not a big fan. Like if they're gonna keep areas locked until story progression, that's fine. But put it on the map. Like I that way I know, and I don't waste a bunch of time just trying to get over there. You know. Oh, I was like, it's telling me there's a path here, but I have to. Knock it down. We climb at the speed of light. Are you serious? I just... <sighs> this is frustrating. Put up. I can we write a letter to Bioware? It's too blah blah. blah. Please put up whether or not an area actually is blocked off before I get there. Apparently, I have to go all either all the way around this way or all the way around this way to get to here. <sighs> That's really frustrating. Like I was just. I'm like I know I was just there, but apparently I can only also approach it from one angle. You know what I mean? Which is dumb. Like, why can't I only approach it from one angle? It's like, yeah, maybe there's stuff in there. It's like, oh, you can't activate it until you start a request. But I'm like, I don't care. This is a pain. Okay. Let's get this started. We have to test the ancient elven artifacts and ensure they behave safely. This quiet moment offers a chance to get to know her better. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. A quiet moment. No combat, potentially? Probably not. Okay, we all know why we're here, right? Make sure that the artifacts we calmed stay calmed. We know. This should be easy. Yanarl, you and Strife take the first set. Irlin and Hamuel take the second. Rook and I will handle the rest. You picked me. But I'm still a little confused about what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, of course you are. Sorry, sometimes I forget not everyone spends all their time studying ancient elven artifacts. Haha, <laughs> how quirky. We're going to check the crystal alignment, fade connection, and the Lyran reserves. Has alignment ever been a problem? Even once? It's not worth the risk. Even if it's only off by a little bit, we know what happens. Happened once. And we can't even be sure the crystal alignment was why. Look, I know what you're saying, but maybe if we What's check the... it every single time. <laughs> I I'm sorry. You're right. I just sorry. Forget it. Why is she being so grumpy? Oh, probably because somebody got hurt. The person. Uh... I am so sure. I just realized how short I am compared to Bellara. I'm sorry, this is a very tense moment. Also, it's interesting that Bellara is taking charge of this and assigning people when I thought Strife was more of, like, a leader guy than, any, than anybody else, but she's obviously good at her job. But, like, the whole... The face she's making... I can't take it seriously. She's, and, like, you know... it's. I don't think it's a bad thing to check everything that could go wrong. It seems to be a veil jumper thing. You know, it seems smart to do, but to get a... Antsy about Are you it. Okay, Ballara. I'm fine. It's my fault, really. I'm sorry, Ballara. Let's go. We want to get back quickly. Of course. See you soon. Uh, 
She seems like she's being like, why does that bitch take so long? But really, if it, if anything could so go wrong, what was all that about? You should check it. What was what all about? That tension seemed pretty heavy. It, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I mean, you made a funny face, so that I think I was supposed to Here take seriously. Artifact vault, or one of them, at least. Looks like it's seen better days. Repairing reality doesn't leave a lot of time for repairing walls. At least until someone falls through a hole in the floor. Random example. Hmm, yeah. Art of Silas's Firefly! Found in the center of a large charred circle, artifact will emit tremendous heat and light when unstable will melt stone. Yeah, she's the hearth goddess. A Gilanon statue with floating bits, that's cool. We saw these eggs in Inquisition all the time. Gilanon's binding, found in the ruins of an unnamed Taig. Artifact will combine multiple living creatures into one body when unstable causes immediate death in most cases. She's crazy. Gilanon is crazy. She's Lovecraftian, cosmic horror embodied. Is that what that does? I just remember seeing them as like little circles. There's like dead bodies in there. Oh my god. Oh, they got like a cool parchment in there. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. <gasps> and they got cool little little Rubik's cube looking things. And they got a D. They got they got a dice bag right there. <laughs> this is neat. This is neat. A hollow statue. Oh, hello. More lore for me. New content available at the library. Well, uh, okay. A scouting report. The trees are singing. Expedition scouting report. Bell jumpers rented and nasty reporting. The trees and ruins restarted humming today. We heard faint echoes and went looking. We could never pinpoint it, but it sounded like music. It took us a while to realize it was coming from all directions, so we spent an hour going in circles trying to make sense of that. Finally, it dawned on us. It was coming from the trees. We were completely surrounded by the hum inside it. The whole forest was bathed in it. We couldn't tell if it was the leaves or the branches making the sound. We brought back samples of both, but as soon as we left ruins reached, the hum stopped. We haven't heard it since. Cool. Oh, a thingamajig I'm gonna need. Dirthamon's Guidance with a hollow statue. Found on western edge of White Spire, buried in snow. Artifact will cause nearby objects to continue floating upwards indefinitely when unstable. Currently cannot be retrieved. The hollow statue causes things to go up. I there are there are a lot of things floating up there on the ceiling, and currently like no like because they're like, they're like currently cannot be retrieved and I'm like, I mean I I I assume you could like you know, well I guess if you pulled it out it's like there's a ceiling so you could grab it you know you you could grab the artifact from the ceiling and then take it out but then you just you just keep floating. Okay, I'll get to you in a second. I'm learning. Okay, that's probably locked to me. Lore. Carefully written note. We need better guidance beyond artifact retrieval. No clear direction on what to do when you find one and how you tell if it's safe. Lots of new people means lots of risk. But Laura has some, some suggestions. Given her history, she's motivated, motivated to make this all safer. Suggest we convene and talk about her proposals. So she lost somebody or somebody got injured who was important to her. Borrowed the gauntlet artifact, figured out how to make it create arrows, and it resonates with other artifacts. Not sure what that means, but interesting. We'll return soon, promise. That's the thing she has on her arm right now. Ooh, a preserved bit of parchment with writing. That's cool. So we've also, I, I was been, I've been wondering for like a little bit now since we started playing. We we're finding snake motifs. Um, not just in Tevinter. They, I think, because this is an elven ruin. So there's and there's a snake motif here. And I Tavinter took so much from the elves, right? So I'm like, was there like a snake 
the only thing I can think of is dragon, and, and on the Taventer thing, it's two snakes intertwined, but one of them looks fancier than the other, and it could maybe be like just like a super stylized version of a dragon intertwined with a snake, or maybe it's two different kinds of snakes, like different species. But still, I'm curious, or if it's just, you know, not reusing a cheese wheel. Praise. Praise the cheese wheel. Thank you, Barware. <laughs> Glad we are keeping the cheese wheel memory alive. Oh, that's got water coming out of it. Tears of June. Found at the bottom of a large well, artifact will separate all nearby ma materials into constituent pieces when unstable. Materials can include people. People. That's water coming out of it, though. But, like, it just, like, unconstitutes people and things when, when unstable. That's crazy. Hang on. Let me, I didn't get a good look at this one. Okay, it is a, it's a, a lamp. How very apropos. And they've put <laughs> logs, milled lumber in there for it to burn on. How nice. Um... I mean, I assume you're going to want these, so I'm going to bring them over to you. Let go. Okay, oh. see those two power crystals? Yeah. The ones that aren't glowing? There should be a couple of replacements, charged ones, in the room. If you grab them, I'll make sure the artifacts stay... Oh, what is this one? Okay, new power crystal is in. Great. And the artifact didn't collapse the room. Was that a possibility? Always is. I just feel like they're they're a bunch of wannabe mad scientists, and they're they're what they're doing is playing with forces beyond their comprehension. And again, I just don't think they're doing this very irresponsibly. You know what I mean? Like messing with artifacts, benign artifacts is can be like. A time-consuming, detail-oriented process at the best of times, let alone hazardous, uh, like magical artifacts. Although to be fair, I have said because I like to, I like to read about like sci-fi with like Xeno archaeology and stuff like that. Um, but as like you know, just like a fun story type thing, I am one hundred percent though one of the like scientists, Xeno archaeologists that would just die because like you go and you like study ancient alien things that like you have no idea what they do right and like they could be extremely toxic to you inadvertently you know stuff like that like i think Murderbot diaries has a little bit of that and a book called the ship who searched has that too where it's like just like you just it's not even like maliciously left behind by the aliens but interacting with something so far outside your ken will have dastardly consequences sometimes and like usually in the stories it's like you know sci-fi rope like not robots but like, robots are like you know soldier types and they're like oh yeah here's a bunch of dead scientists as per usual it's like a very common thing in sci-fi and i'm like that would be me be one of those 60 dead scientists just laying in a pile because i tried to wake up an ancient alien god on accident you know what i mean like i didn't even know what i was doing <laughs> but i'd be like this is cool and then i would totally blow everything up and there we go so it's calmed now? Should be, and it'll stay that way for a while. And in the meantime, it won't tear open reality. Okay, let's keep going. You know, sure. my other... Sounds good. My other issue with this is that they're removing these things from their provenience, where they were left. Where they were either put, it, where they were in, in a place that they were hoping to remain stable, or they were thrown by people who were like, this is this thing is evil or has become evil, you know, and, and in order to contain it, they threw it somewhere. And it's like removing it from the place where it was just seems unwise. Like, I would think you would put barriers and protections in place where it was instead of concentrating a bunch of incredibly powerful artifacts in one area where they could all just set each other off and explode and like do terrible things to reality you know like solo is like oh they're doing my job for me they're gonna tear down the veil for me because they're putting a bunch of incredibly powerful artifacts in one area and hoping that they're like ancient elven barriers that they probably only partially understand um which now i'm seeing like this like this the style of this barrier like it looks like how her gloves work and it looks like how the hollow statue works where it's like it looks like again kind of broken into its constituent parts and then like it can come back together like it, it's um 
it, it can like reshape itself essentially, and it looks like these like triangular things are like part of like the the mainframe essentially, and then like this is like a shield, and I think that's what the um, when we're activating the uh, the Evanura statues, it has these those like these triangular shapes, but in like a like a polyhedron kind of a shape, and we break those, and then it's like, ooh, okay, I did it. It must be like some sort of shield barrier thing. Or like generic like framework for like a generic object, you know, like it could be anything, um, potentially. Um, kind of how her glove could just like make things, you know. Um, anyway, though, I feel like containing barely understandable artifacts with barely understandable artifacts is like just not good. Just like keep them where they were, where they were contained, or you know, where they were contained at least for a while, even if they started going crazy a little, and like contain them there. But here so it's like, oh, it's, it's nice out at least. <laughs> Are we being you know, awkward? Ignoring that reality itself is paper thin here. Hard to ignore that. Right. That's a bright glowing door. Why would you hide this behind? Found one. Crate. Behind crates. Here and put it in the socket. Also, what are you doing to calm it down? Like, are you guys mages? Like, you know what I mean? Or it's, it looks like she's just like utilizing the artifact. Oh my gosh, these people were merging. Um, what is she exactly? Oh, she is a mage. Oh, okay. All right, you can pass them. <laughs> you know what I mean. Don't mind me just yoinking your guys' show. Ooh, some of these bigger hands. Yikes! We were seeing some of these ones, but they were much darker. Where we found that portal magic. But like, who was this? Who were these people? <gasps> Gosh, do you guys see this? I did. I did not even notice. I'm like getting used to it. I'm getting used to seeing tree bodies everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is uh, what is it? Human centipede? This look. This looks like human centipede. Oh my gosh. It goes up even further. The whole. This is. Horrifying! The entire tree is covered. <laughs> oh my gosh! The more I see, the more terrible it gets. And it's all their legs. Oh my gosh! Bioware, you spent time on this, but you didn't give me any Tavinter Chantry like iconology. Why? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's really horrible. Why Why are we not, like, we, we barely mentioned it. Why are we not mentioning more that there's people shapes everywhere? Like, in the tree, like, as trees. This is horrifying. So what did this artifact do? Uh, before it was calmed, I mean. It would bring flaming rocks down all around it every 30 minutes. And for some reason, you'd hear chanting while it did it. Not sure what that was about. I just, again, I'm just like, you guys are not, like, what are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. It's bad. Oh, good, I get to go up and get a good view of the, the human centipede trees. <laughs> you guys know that Tom Cardi song, Tom, yeah, Tom Cardi song, it's stuck in my head now. Human centipede. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, I think most okay, of those are elves. Okay, wizards replace, which means there. Everything's looking good. Good. Thank you, by the way, for helping out. You're you know, welcome. Better things to do. I know. Um. What? Yeah. We're keeping reality intact. That feels pretty important. Right. Good point. Okay. 
One more to go. Alright. I, ha I have to take a picture of this. Not for fun, but for, like, I'm horrified. Like, I've seen some sad ones so far that look, like, tragic, but that's horrifying. Not too far now. Thank you for giving me this chance to help people. Help people? You were already kind of doing that as a veil jumper. Sort of, but it was never as big, you know? As grand? Helping you? Well, we're helping lots of people everywhere. I like that. Okay, I wasn't sure what she was talking about. Like, I was like, this isn't really helping people. I mean, keeping reality stable is good, but like... <laughs> Not helping per se, except for other veil jumpers to get their jobs done. You know, it, it is it is funny that I just assume any bald elf is soulless. Um, it could just be like generic, generic elf or whatever. But like, why wouldn't you put the crystals close by or like hidden, like on purpose? You know. The door rattles when I run into it. That's interesting. I thought it was maybe like trying to like knock back at me, and I was like, huh. so I was getting spooked. How do you calm an artifact anyway? You have to cut it off from its power source, but carefully. Some of them like to try and blow up when you do it. It does seem like most veil jumpers would have to be mages. Oh, there it is. Um, oh, I don't think I can get over there. Oh. Seems like most bell jumpers would have to be mages who have like um like warriors and rogues along to like help with like, you know, protection and like getting into places. What do you need? Um never mind. I honestly I despise it when you do that. You do that all the time. Crystal. Great. Slot it in. She's not quirky annoying like I thought she'd be. She's more like not confident sort of uh and that's annoying. But I get, I get it where it's coming from potentially. Like she, she has difficulty interacting with people. I understand that. But like, like it seems like it. Um, but uh, it is the kind of one where like I was trying to. Do, my sisters and I were talking about it. They're like, well, why did you like Sarah so much and you don't like her yet so far? I'm like, well, I don't know. I, I, there's something about Sarah. Like I always just got Sarah and I knew. Like I don't know. And it really upset me that in Inquisition they made it so that the Inquisitor could only respond to Sarah being like, you know, at best, like, wow, you sure are funny, but I don't understand you. And at worst, like, what are you talking about? Like, you're so dumb. You know, it's like, I don't, everything she was saying was easy enough to understand. It was just being stated in like, a, you know, a different way, you know, like a little more uh, uh, obscure. I don't know, a little more like a roundabout maybe, but like, I don't know. I always felt she was like very direct. And I also felt like she, maybe the reason I liked her so much was because she was so unerringly confident in most things and when she wasn't she was just really honest about it she was like listen like she had like a crisis of faith at one point right and like i don't know like the way she talked like i got it she, i i everything she said was not confusing to me and i and i liked the way she spoke i was like oh she's it was like outside the box you know it was like coming at it from a different angle and i liked that um and maybe it was because she was just so unabashedly herself that i that i appreciated her and i liked her as a character whereas Bellara, i'm like i just want to like pick her up and shake her and be like Stop it! Being like, oh, um, I don't, well, I don't know, but I get where it's coming from as, like, a, you know, she tries to talk sometimes, maybe people don't understand and they're confused and it makes it hard for her, you know, and so, like, I get it, but I still doesn't want, it doesn't stop me from wanting to shake her and just be like, just tell me! <laughs> just say it! <laughs> there. Done. I'm so short. It's so funny. You okay? Are we having a moment now? Oh, I'm fine. Or will be. It takes a lot out of you, all those little magic bits. Not hard, just exhausting. But it needs to be done, and done right. Right, yeah. But does it have to be done by you? Any veil jumper could do this work, right? Why not let them help? Because maybe then I can make up for it. I mean, aren't they helping? Right now? Make up for what? For not being good enough? When it counted? I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. She's 
She's got a trauma. Understandable. Understandable. She doesn't have to do it right now. We don't have to talk. We can build up. Laura, I'm... Uh... My brother. Oh. Uh... What? Back there. You asked me why I did this. Why I put myself out here. For him. For my brother. Wherever he is. Oh, shoot. He, uh... He's got... He got... Like, stolen away by magic? What happened to your brother? Syrian. His name was Syrian. We were the same, you know? In a lot of ways. We wanted to learn everything. About Elbanon, the magic, the people. All of it. We heard about the Nadastrathalin. Figured it had the answers. Or some of them. Then Arlathan started going wrong. I joined the Veil Jumpers to help people. And he kept looking, kept putting himself in danger. It should have been safe. I know, I checked that artifact three times. I guess it should have been four. Artifacts started pulsing. He was too close. I couldn't find my way in. They called him a hero, wanted to make a statue. They thought it would make it all okay. You loved him. They loved the idea of him. Mm. They never knew him. Not really. He wasn't a veil jumper. Know why he did what he did. Syrian, he... He felt responsible. For our people. For me. My little brother. He thought he needed to take care of me. A little brother? I'm gonna cry. He called him <laughs> Bora Siobhan. Hummingbird. In Elven. Said it was because I could never sit still. But he loved me for it. Said it kept him thinking. Trying to keep up. And he helped me too. He kept me focused. Anchored. And now he's gone. Because I wasn't good enough. It's not your fault. Mm, mm. You have to know that. Then why does it feel like it was? You lost someone important. Guilt's part of that. But if you don't learn to get past it, you'll drown. I wish it were that easy. I've tried. I told myself I couldn't have done anything, and my head believes it, but my heart doesn't. So I try to make up for it. Honor him. Learn about our people. Find the truth. Maybe when I do, I'll feel it. Feel what? That he forgives me. And that I deserve it. We should head back. I mean, doesn't sound like the kind of guy that would be unhappy with you. Thank you for being here. That was actually really poignant, and I did actually start tearing up. <laughs> the way Rook said that, you know, it was like. Just, and it was very succinct, right, where she was like, you know, then why does it feel like it was? It's like, well, you lost someone. And even, like, the guilt's a part of that, even if, like, there was nothing you could actually do. Like, guilt, you feel, there's survivor's guilt, you know? And, like, she checked the artifact a gazillion times, but it's like, especially with the magic going haywire lately, you know? It's just one of those things where it's like... Um... Yeah, you know, like, there's nothing she could have done. You you can check as many times as you want, but because these artifacts are unknown entities, essentially, like, 
you can check a million times and all it takes is maybe like one like one tiny fragment of a different part of the fade to swoosh by through the veil and like it sets it off you know what i mean so it's not your fault but i won't believe he's actually dead unless i see his body <laughs> so he might have been like like absorbed and sent somewhere else you know died in a magical mishap that Bilar blames herself for Whee. Oh, what a horrible way to go. It would make a good trial. A target wouldn't see it coming. Oh. Everything about the forest is changing. Now even the plants can kill you. So, so this is a current thing? Because, like, this person's huge. And this is like a carnivorous plant. It, we saw this earlier, and I wanted to get a good look at it. But, like... No, it doesn't look like somebody died in it. They turned into a tree inside of a plant, you know? Inside of a carnivorous plant. I got free. I just... I, I have either not been paying attention or I missed something critical on the timeline for these. You know what I'm saying? Like, for when all of this went down. The tree people thing. I guess we're th we okay. It's potentially when the magic started going haywire recently, but why why turn into trees? This feels like something that would have happened a long time ago. And honestly, I didn't think all of them was that full of people, like very remote Dalish clans. Like, I mean, I don't know, but this is the spores coming off it are really beautiful, or the pollen. This is really beautiful, but it's also, yeah, horrifying in its own special way. But, yeah. Anyway, I have no idea how long this episode will be, but I think I'm going to call it here. So, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I'm going to cut over and say thank you to my patrons. Alright, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Reese Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.